Hey there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio in episode number three of Firmament. As we are solving quite a crazy puzzle. Before we get started with Firmament today, I want to say a humongous thank you to Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, and William Poneth, my legacy historians, my early access historians that you can see here, and my legacy historians. Everyone here supports my channel to help me make more clean content here on YouTube, across other so social medias, and then some. Very, very excited across the board to continue to do this with you. Now, as you can actually see over here, you can see a chat room opened here. This is everyone who's watching during our live stream recordings. We don't have dates for when we record these. We just do them whenever we can. And whoever can join in, joins in. So thank you very much to everyone who's hanging out. Now, William Ponneth here says, maybe hook them all up in one circuit and then remove one by one down to 115. Good idea. Let's show everyone what William is talking about here as we get into our game. Uh, we are playing the awesome firmament and we are playing with circuits if you know anything about electricity you need to open and close a circuit to have a completed circuit now each one of these represents a certain amount of power we're assuming right now that we have found 25 volts of power for each one of these circuits you can tell when a circuit is complete you get this all nice and lit up and pretty like that so what we do is we're walking our way along here and we're trying to figure out how to extend the circuit out further um, so far we've managed to do that, and I want to go ahead and try this trick. I'm going to go ahead and connect this to here, and we're going to turn this and connect the circuit to this barb. Okay, so we can see that coming this way, and then we can see this going this way, and then, uh, let me check our voltage here so far. We have 75 volts, my friends, 75 volts... Now, that connection is coming down here, all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Not powered here. This is interesting, so we lose our connection. Where? We have it here. So I think what I'm going to do is break the connection here. Because I'd like to continue this all the way around. So what I'm going to do is break the connection here. Alright, now the connection's broken, but I want to take it all the way to the end. So, so far we're good. I need to rotate to get this to work now. I need to get over there. So I guess I'm rotating this back the way it was. Okay, and I heard the connection reconnect there. Now, this one needs to rotate to the right. No, wrong way. Wrong way! All right, now we should get the connection to here. It's not showing it yet, but let's see if we can make this work. Uh, all we need to do now is... Hold, please. Do we have the connection to here? No. Where do we have it to? There. And then it breaks there because it's not completed all the way on the other side. So what needs to happen is... Technically, this one... I think I'm going to have a problem here. I might have a problem here. We're going to see. This one is going to rotate this way. Okay. And then, let's rush back over here. Come on now. Go back over here. And this one isn't going to turn. That's a shame. So... The only choice we have is to connect that barb up back here. So I'm going to go back and rotate it back. So this one, the only choice that we have is to rotate this one back. 
that one needs to make a full 180. So let me go and rotate that a full 180. So all this way, and all this way, and all this way, and all this way. This one needs to go a complete 180. All right. That one's going to hook up to that circuit. Perfect. And then that one... Now I have a problem, but we'll see. So this is good. This one... I want to rotate over to there. We should have a connection. Come on. Yes! What's our voltage? 115! We did it! We did it! I have no idea how we did it, but we did it! That was easy, unfortunately. <laughs> yes! We totally did it! How awesome is that? Yes! So let's see what we've managed to complete in this process. Sweet goodness. Awesome. Okay. Yep, look at that. We got power up here. What's over this way? I'm just checking. Oh, look at this. Have I been here? What is this? Oh, wait a minute. We should have power here now. Let's see what this does. Sweet. Yes, we have Christmas lights. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, I know where I am. Oh, I know where I am. Where does this go? To the arc. Or arch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I know. Really going off the path, but I got to see. This is awesome. We're going there. Oh. If this doesn't remind you of Riven, I don't know what will. It's slower. More methodical. We did it, we did it, na 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 na. <laughs> Whoa, hello. How are you two doing? Have you been lonely for a while? Cool. Alright. This place, it represents my comfort and my confusion. Oh, you're funny, Sean. This you're very was funny. This grand anchor of our worlds. The perfect term for it. <laughs> How could I have been so naive? Why don't you just tell me how you were naive so I don't have to go through everything that you went through? Wouldn't that be what a proper human view, view, view human would do for another human? <laughs> to me, this makes sense, comrade. I'm going to be talking like this a lot in this accent. Oh, it's still going and I'm trying to slow it down and it's not slowing down. So I guess I'm going up here. Dude. Dude. Are we? Dude. Dude. We're not where I think we are. Are we? Dude. No, we're not. We can't be. Hang on. Sure looks the same, though. I mean, come on, look at that. That's pretty obvious. Whoa. Heretic. I did not know that word. I learned each meaning by meeting Turner. I was drawn to him, to his ideas like an insect to a flame. You rely on me now, as I once relied on him. 
The others were afraid of Turner. I was obscenist. I have learned that it is difficult for the stories of those who fear to move forward. Okay. I'm scared to try this. <laughs> I'm more willing to try this. You are the first to enter a doorway that we never knew existed. Okay. Oh, so many doorways that we never knew existed. Raising. Oh, there we go. Dude. Dude. What do you see? What? Tell me. Speak to me. Ah, but you cannot. Is for you alone. Yep. Then you must repeat this two more times in the other rounds. Okay. No sweat. I got the science. You wanted somewhere to look down from? Yeah, apparently I did. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful, man. That's awesome. I love it. Now, here's the question. What does this thing do? I don't know if I want to try it, but here we go. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I know better. I. It won't let me save. What? Hang on. I don't like that it won't let me save. I want to see something first. Oh, you thought you could kill me? I'm going to try it anyway, but still. All right, here we go. These additions to your agent, these are required to awaken the embrace and save nice. the rounds. Nice. I've got a new toy. Your adjunct can now directly connect from one socket to another socket. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it went there. Oh no. What? 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 Oh boy. Really? Destination added. Julston Arch. Nice. So I can go to multiple... I can come back here through the red pot. That's cool. Okay. This is necessary. But that does not mean it does not eat at my heart. That you should witness such mysteries instead of me. Sorry. Okay. But I don't know if I'm done doing all of this. I feel like there was more.
the fact that I can go back is interesting. But yeah, like, there's tons more. I mean, look at this. There's stairs everywhere. Or not. Okay, apparently there isn't anything to do here. Well, if, if that's the case, then I do think I'll take the pod back. Well, I, I find that, I find that, I, I feel very rewarded so far. So, uh, who's going to do a cosplay and make themselves an adjunct? Uh, Sean Hammond says, I don't think we've seen anywhere that actually needs that socket chain yet, have we? No, not yet. So, I think that we're in the clear right now. And I don't think... It's not opening back up. So we've completed the task here. So yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the jump. Okay. So oh, look at this! Awesome. Do I want to go back to the reservoir? I'm going to go back to the reservoir just to see what's here. I'm super pleased. I'm very much enjoying this. All right. Developers, you're acing this. I am enjoying everything about this so far. Thank you very much for the new experience. Some small glitches to work out, I can... I can't do anything, can I? Nope. But maybe I can get there from over here, because I want to go look at this thing. I want to go see what this is. I want to go see why I made this thing come out of the ground. Uh, apparently not. Nope, apparently not. Apparently not. See what? See. Well, sorry, but not letting the artsy fartsy come and take a look at the notsy watsy. Please make it back to Chotsy Watsy and come on back on Tenzi Wednesday. Okay, we're going to open the door. Open says me. My name is Sinbad. And I am looking for the 700 thieves. Because I forget how many... Sinbad and the... How many thieves? I forget how many thieves. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the swan. We're going to begin. And take a look here, by the way. If you look at the icon next to me, you can see that it's got the chaining function there. So, I don't know if that means that, the, that we've done it for the previous place, or there's more that I need to do of that in that place, or that I've completed that place of all the tasks that I could do with that function of my adjunct. Tanner taught me a new story. Zilaza had been taught, resisted this new story. Hmm. I kind of want to go back to where we were and have another look see around.
Especially since we have nowhere else to go yet. And apparently a lot of people were dragged out here and taken to their sleeping. Their final sleep. There and back again, a hobbit's holiday. Let's see if we can learn something new here. I... Admittedly... Kind of want to start from the beginning-ish, sort of. Just to see if there's anything that I missed. Excuse me. Nice that you don't have to hold it down. So this whole bunker lowers. And there's nothing additional down here. Except my very frightening bed. Alright, now, here's my next question. Okay. nothing down here, right? It was a dead... just enclosed. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, there is nothing extra to explore over here. So we have done everything we can do here. Feel good about this. We've already done this part, which is why we already have the access that we need over here. We've even opened up the door, so we don't even have to do that. This is open to us now as well. There's, as far as I know, no need to go back there and control that. We have access to the swan. Just fine. The advantage to raising the bunker while you're standing on top of it? Good question. Good question, Sean. Let's go take a look. It didn't feel like the uh, controller was very easily accessed standing on top. It was pointed away, so I don't even know if it would trigger it. It's a good question, though, so that's why I'm going back. Um, so here we are. And... Yeah, it's purposefully not triggering when I stand here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, nicely done.
Nope. Doesn't seem to have a benefit. None easily recognized. Will the ice cube really not lower into the shaft? Uh, it looks like it's locked there until we open a secondary shaft. As far as I can tell. It's a good question. I'll make my way back and we'll take a look at it because I'm going to be heading back that way anyway. Excellent questions. Excellent questions. We play this game as a team, my friends, for we are the firmament. I oh, know we're the keepers. We're the keepers. You're the historians. I'm the keeper. So, um, yeah. See, now part of me wonders, okay, if I went up the ladder, what can I control? What would be the benefits? I, I'm So far, I'm not seeing any additional benefits yet. So let me... Wander back this way. I didn't check for any ladders over here. We did open that, and I think it still makes sense to keep it open. This is when we needed to step over. We don't have that anymore. Okay. We had that controller thingy, which we already utilized. So, we're back to the icy thing, I think, here. So let me test that theory, if I can remember how to get back there. That's how to get on that. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, the question, will it... Not working. I was gonna try and connect them. So here's your here's your answer. If I click on this one, it says the crane is locked and the upper chute is open, but the bottom chute is closed. If I try to go forward, it won't let me go any directions. If I switch to the hook and I go lower, see how the E is wigging out? So if I raise it nothing happens. If I lower it, nothing's happening either. And those are the only two options I'm given. So this unit is locked. Now if I go here and I close this door, it's closed and I'm willing to bet you that the ice is now unlocked. Crane is still locked. And I can't do anything. So this is permanently stuck here for the moment. So we may as well keep this open until that. Now, the question that I think is a very valid one is can I chain these together in some way or am I supposed to chain another set somewhere? So that's where my brain's going right now. don't see there's I think that is the second that needs to be opened I don't see any buttons except for this button here and it's not recognizing it from here unfortunately Seems like you need to open the lower chute from uh, from somewhere. I agree. That's where my math is adding up as well. And I don't see anything down there that we have access to. So, unfortunately, it looks like we need to approach it from a different world, from a different realm, which doesn't make sense, because each realm is different. So, backtracking makes the most sense, 
or utilizing the um, transport. So I'm leaning towards trying the trans. Make use of appropriate equipage before descending the ice block. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Release. Disengage. Adjust socket value. Look around. That's stuck. That's stuck. That's stuck. I'm trying to do it like in time with the other one to see if it freaks out or does something, but nothing's happening. And you can kind of see it moving. But nothing's happening. So let me go back up here. Okay, hang on. Okay, nothing here. So if we go back up here, now we can be back on top of this thing, right? Oh, it's over there. And this is just a bridge. How did we get that there? Or how could I get back on top of there? Or can I shoot it? Nope, can't shoot it. Can't shoot that one. So the only real option I'm seeing is this thing again. So that's going to call it. So unfortunately, I'm going to try this again. To the reservoir. Hmm. That's challenging, isn't it? And look at how far away we're going. It's like... It doesn't seem to... Well... I guess it could be connected still. Because, I mean, look, it's up there. And technically, we're just going around the mountain. So, yeah. There's a possibility that they're still interconnected. Though, I seems a little far-fetched. A little being a bit, um... That's the lift, which I've already called it, so we don't need to worry about that. So, there's no other methods. That's the only way. So, this is the only way down. So, here we go. I like that you can release it. You don't have to be hooked and you don't need to hold it down. Okay, so here we are. Interesting how you can hear that. Huh. Alright, so that calls it. I remember I have already looked around both those edges. So we went this way. Okay, nothing over here. Oh, yes. All right, I'm going to make a more careful study of this region now that I can't find anything else. So we're going to really have a solid look around here and continue our journey in this area. Obviously, we need to lift this up from somewhere. Up there, up there, somewhere. So I think we'll... I think we're really going to focus in on how to get there. Is that what I think it is? Yep. Okay. Moving on. We got access. Alright. Story continues. I love this game. We're actually, like, not getting stuck in circles for once. Okay. I'm going to look around out here before I go inside this building. More ice cubes. More water. Wow, look at that machine. I bet you we're controlling that here in a few minutes. Okay. 
Interesting. I have a feeling we'll be starting a few of these pieces of equipment. Water vats. Oh, look where we're going to be later. Hmm. Actually, look at this. This is all ice. That's not frightening at all. Wow, this place is cool. Okay, I think I'm ready to go inside that building. I'm just... I'm, I know I'm rushing around a little quickly. But I'm only doing that because I kind of have a theory and... We care for our world. I have a bit of a theory and a plan for what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm kind of rushing along here purposefully. Okay, so that's two ways in. That's not the front entrance, though. I would like to look at the front entrance first. This looks like another... Alright, so there's the front entrance. We got the stairs there. Maintain the firmament. Okay. Oh boy. That doesn't look frightening. That looks... Oh! Hello. Destination, destination added. Excellent. We're in the factory. Okay. Feeling good here. I'm going to try this staircase first. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but I'm curious. Well, that was easy. Okay. Let's try the other side. All right. This seems a bit more lucky. I was thought that the pitcher is what divides ice from liquid. Liquid from steam, steam from ice. The environment can change it. Jenna made me realize that this applies to living things as well as water. I have been changed. Interesting. Okay, so we're in this side now. I don't see any machines to start this yet. I don't need to hop in that at the moment. But I'm looking around. A great game. Just, just a great game, hands down. Okay. I think I, you, I ran by a button upstairs. Okay, I'll go back up. I ran... Yes, I did. Thank you. Thank you very much. I most certainly did. Was there any other function to that? Nope, we're good. That's it. So let me see if I can get... Uh, is that one too? Or is that just a light? That's just a light. Now, we opened something. That ice can now slide that way, so that's good. Well, is there is there anything else? Problem is, I don't think we can go any higher yet. Yeah, nice job. Nice job. And I know I'm rushing around rather quickly, and I apologize. Uh, will I stop? Probably not, but I am... <laughs> I am uh, uh, very aware that I am rushing around like a chicken with my head cut off when that's probably not the best time to do that. So. Was it, uh, was that the lower chute we couldn't open? No, I don't... No, 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 no. I truly doubt... Mm. I doubt it, but it's a very good question. I doubt it. I, I, I doubt it. I think I doubt it. What is the point of this? Why is there stairs that lead to here... Oh, it looks broken. Let's 
It's a good question. I'm, I'm willing to consider that. Let's see if there's anything else around here before we go running all the way back. But I, I'm, I'm very willing to consider that. Can you see the ice cube crane from outside? We measure. Can you see the ice cube crane from outside? Good question. That's not the ice cube crane. That is the transport. The multi-wheel, as they call it. I don't see a crane anywhere from this point. And the door that we opened goes into there. I'm I'm willing to consider your thought. Let's also check this really quick while we're on this trail. We opened up this door. There was a second door. This one. We can't open that one. Doesn't look like we can climb around it either. I'll finish my little exploration in this area, and then we will uh, head back and see if we had any luck with it, with that theory of yours. Because it's a very good theory. Glad you can run in this game, that's for sure. So much to explore. How interesting that that goes over there. Hmm. Well, can't go down that way. Okay. So. Let's see if William's idea holds any merit. Okay. This game is great. It really is. It's smooth. It's vivid. Lots of great attention to detail. It's just awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. All right, William, cross your fingers. Did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. All right, William, now cross your fingers. We got a green. William. Look at you. Dropping ice and what? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Taking a long trail down here. I thought we opened that. Yeah, we did. Nice job, you guys. Awesome work. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, I was afraid that 
reverse. Nice! Thank you. Oh, look at this. It's got multiple options. Hang on a second here. So, we can go like this, and now we have the vertical drive. Okay. Process. That's a lot of death. I wonder if there's any time... Like, if I'm supposed to do something time-related right now. Hard to say. Yeah, I maybe shouldn't have stood on top of it when I dropped it down, but at the same time, everything worked out, I think. And then William says it looked like a hopper to him, and he totally called it. So we're going to go out there next and see what's going on outside that door. Let's see what's going on up here. Ah, we were waiting for this. Yippee, I get to go play with a crane again. Here, crane again. Cra oh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, how much fun. All right, so. We're blocked, are we? How are we blocked? Oh, hey, look at this. Blocked how so? Interesting. Okay. Okay. So apparently we have to use these two cranes in conjunction with each other to do something. And unfortunately, we're 50 minutes in. So, as much as I would love to continue this delightful game with you, it's time to wrap up. I'm sorry. But I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I deeply, deeply appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much to my legacy historians, my early access historians, my Dorka historians, my legacy learners who will be taking my drawing courses that I will be creating here in the near future, uh, and everyone else who supports me on Patreon.com. Thank you so very, very much. If you're watching from any other source other than YouTube, whether it's Rumble or uh, whether it's Facebook or whatever, please leave a comment. Hit that Rumble button. You know what to do across the board. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you for supporting all the efforts that we are making to put out clean content for most ages. And saying that humongous thanks to Sean Hammond and William Poneth and Tony Allen for hanging out with me here in the live chat room and uh, being, you know what, just an amazing team, us all having fun together uh, and enjoying the game. William Poneth says was a blast, great game, and deeply appreciate all of you. Y'all rock. Love y'all. Keep it crispy, First Tim 412. I will see you in the next video. If you're enjoying this Firmament series, you know what to do. That subscription button's waiting for you because we're going to be playing a lot more of it. See you next time, friends. Bye.